The Industrial Revolution began in England around 200 years ago. Humanity has been consistently improving its ability to construct machines. And nowadays, there are machines which perform truly incredible tasks. Some are capable of excavation of parts of the landscape that would have been merely a dream to people of the past, while other industrial machines can precision engineer things down to nanoparticles. From the giant hammer powered by steam, to the machine that can tunnel through solid rock, here's the 15 extreme industrial machines ever made. <sighs> Number 15. Steam Hammer the idea of steam hammers was first proposed by the genius Scottish inventor James Watt back in 1784. However, it was not until 1840 that a working steam hammer was finally produced, built by a French engineer named Francois Bourdon, based on a design which was allegedly stolen from Scottish engineer James Nasmith. Simply put, steam is forced into a cylinder, which then exerts pressure on a hammer, causing it to rise. That pressure is then released through a valve, as gravity allows the hammer to fall. Sometimes steam is injected back into the hammer to force it down even harder. Steam hammers are used for metalworking, among other things. By the mid-20th century, they were slowly being replaced by hydraulic systems, which offered far more power now and offered far more control. Steam hammers are still sometimes used to this day for pile driving. These amazing machines have helped to shape our entire landscape over the last 160 years. Before we go on, like this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now, or Slenderman will come from under your bed when you're sleeping. Number 14. Tunnel Boring Machine the first ever tunnel boring machine was commissioned by the King of Sardinia in the 1840s. His ambitious engineering dream was to dig a tunnel under the Alps between Italy and France, which would revolutionize transport and commerce between the two regions. The machine was known as the Mountain Slicer. But it only partially completed its work before the continent was gripped by popular revolutions in 1848, causing financial devastation. The tunnel was later completed, but without the mountain slicer machine. Today's tunnel boring machines are greatly advanced and sometimes known as moles. One example is known as Bertha, and in 2013, this machine, which was at that time the largest diameter tunnel boring machine in the world, began an extensive project boring a two mile long tunnel underneath downtown Seattle. The project the project was fraught with political difficulties and many geographical challenges, but eventually Berth made it through to the other side. The tunnel finally opened in early 2019. Number 13. Dump Truck Belarus is a country in Eastern Europe, with a population of around 10 million. As a republic, it has been independent since 1991, and has been one of the more economically stable nations in the region, showing solid growth and a very high Human Development Index score. One of the reasons for this is that they are internationally recognized as the best place on Earth for manufacturing massive dump trucks. The company Bellas in particular has been breaking records for engineering dump trucks of the most incredible size and power. Shift for the time being one of their models, known as the 75710, holds the record for largest and highest payload capacity dump truck. This dump truck is almost 30 feet high and can carry around 500 tons. It contains two 65-liter engines, each one capable of delivering 2,300 HP. The truck has a maximum speed of 40 miles per hour. So if you've got something heavy to shift, better call Belarus. Number 12. Bridge Girder Erection Machine have you ever wondered how they get the top parts of a train bridge set up on the columns? You could use a crane, but then you would have to set up the crane in the terrain below, which maybe has water or forest or other challenges. Alternatively, you could make use of the SLJ900, which is a truly incredible machine. It runs on the rail tracks or on wheels, 
and it carries the piece of bridge with it. Once it has stopped, it sets down a foot on top of one of the pillars and then begins to extend to the next pillar setting down another foot. Next, it moves the piece forward, and it drops it into place, before finally folding back together, and then reversing to go and pick up the next piece. This is truly an engineering marvel, and shows the amazing things that humans can do when they're not trying to kill each other. This Chinese launching gantry is known as the Iron Monster, and although it can only travel at 3 miles per hour, it has a vastly increased speed and efficiency of bridge construction in China. Number 11. Caterpillar 994 Wheel loaders were invented by Sweden's Volvo company back in 1954. The very first ones were basically tractors with a bucket attached. Nowadays, however, they are quite different to tractors, since it is the rear wheels which turn and the front wheels are on the same diameter. They are used for a wide variety of tasks, involving digging and clearing rubble. The Israeli military even has armored wheel loaders for operations in the West Bank. The Caterpillar Company, which was founded in 1925, has recently launched in the 994, one of the most advanced wheel loaders ever built. These massive wheel loaders can lift as much as 40 tons. Caterpillar is the world's largest manufacturer of wheel loaders, and although many of their machines are manufactured in China and Brazil, the giant wheel loader, such as this one, are exclusively made in the factory in Illinois. This is one huge truck. Number 10. Forage Harvester there is something extremely satisfying about watching a forage harvester at work. The way it just glides through all those crops nice and neatly before spitting all of the stalks and leaves into the trailer behind. Modern farming is big, and I mean really big. Huge fields of grass and corn and other crops require huge machines to harvest them. A forage harvester cuts down the crops, which are then fermented in a silo to make silage, which is then given to animals. And there are a lot of farm animals to feed these days, so that means making a lot of silage. These huge tractors, this one built by John Deere, are just the right tool for the job. Once upon a time, the harvester would have been dragged behind a tractor, and this method is still used on some small family farms. But nowadays, massive industrial farms use these self-propelled forage harvesters to maximize efficiency, filling up truck after truck after truck, which then head out to wherever they make all this lovely rotten and fermented grass food. Mm -mm -mm. Number 9. Industrial Shredder an industrial shredder is a pretty useful tool. It does one thing, and it does that thing incredibly well. You drop some stuff in it, and it comes out in smaller pieces. You can put pretty much anything in one of these monsters, and it will smash it all up into pieces and throw it out the other end. There are a lot of different kinds of shredder, and they have different uses, as well as some pretty cool names. Granulators, knife hogs, raspers, maulers, flails, cracker mills, and refining mills. Sounds like the instruments in some kind of medieval torture chamber, but that's unfair on the shredders. They are much more efficient and destructive than anything from the Middle Ages. Falling into one of these things would be a very bad idea. That's for sure. This machine, made by the company American Pulverizer, is at a recycling plant, and you can see just how enormous it is grinding up all of our recyclables so they can be reused in the future. Shredders can even shred entire cars, as well as tires, paper, wood, metal, and plastics. The largest scrap metal shredder in the world, you ask? It's a 10,000 horsepower monster in Portland, Oregon. Built in 1980, and it can shred 450 cars in an hour or 650 mafia mobster bodies. Number 8. Tezmec Trencher Back in the old days, digging a trench involved a bunch of guys with spades and a lot of sweat. 
Not the most fun job, but now digging trenches involves riding around in one of these awesome machines, which has a massive chainsaw on the front of it, making it look like some kind of freaky prehistoric shark. This extreme machine is manufactured by Tesmec, an Italian company based in the city of Milan. These machines have more than 600 horsepower and can cut through up to 24 inches of solid rock for all your ditch digging needs. They are used to lay underground pipe, phone lines, sewage works, and many other things. Another machine that is pretty satisfying to watch as it churns through all that dirt, making a nice neat trench in the ground. And if you're unable to contain the urge to try one of these, well now you can at the New Jersey amusement park known as Diggerland Excel. At Diggerland you can ride around in trenchers and all kinds of other construction equipment and satisfy that urge to operate a huge piece of machinery. Number 7. Ponds Harvester We've all been there. You desperately need to cut down a tree, but you're not really willing to spend more than about 8 seconds on the job. What do you do? You could train up and become the world's greatest lumberjack, able to cut down a tree with 3 swings of an axe. But that sounds kind of hard. How about investing in a Ponds Harvester, which cuts through trees the way other harvesters cut through wheat? This tree-destroying monster can take down a tree in barely a few seconds and will also grab hold of the trunk so you can fling it out of the way after. They are built in Finland, where they have a lot of trees. At least they do until the Pons Harvester basically shaves the entire country bald in about 30 minutes. For only $850,000, you can become a tree-chopping maniac just like this guy. Just don't tell Greenpeace you're buying one. They probably won't want to be friends with you any longer. Number 6. Fractum Breaker Danish company Fractum claimed to have made the biggest and most powerful hammer in the world. One blow from this huge hammer can deliver 300 kilojoules of energy, making it 15 times more powerful than the ordinary hydraulic hammer. All over the world, people are waking up to the sound of these super hammers. As units have been shipped throughout Europe and China especially. These things can shatter rocks weighing up to 200 tons, and the system is pretty simple. A hammer is drawn up a tube and then allowed to freefall onto the target. The poor rock stands no chance against the mighty hammer and is shattered into pieces in no time. In fact, the harder the rock, the more effective this hammer is, since the increased density results in even more violent shockwaves in the rock, causing it to disintegrate into tiny smithereens, with which you can perform all your necessary small rock jobs. Like, um, well, I have no idea, but I'm sure they are useful for a ton of stuff. Otherwise, these machines wouldn't exist, right? For just six million, it's all yours. Number five, Stacker Reclaimer. I know almost every one of you will have been on the edge of your seats this whole video asking no, maybe even screaming at your screen. When are we going to see a Stacker Reclaimer on this list? The answer is now. At number 5, Stacker Reclaimers are huge machines used to make big piles of stuff, and they look really cool while they are doing it. The Reclaimer part does the exact opposite, takes stuff out of big piles. They run on rails around a stockyard and make these perfect pools of coal, rock, and sand, or whatever else needs to be put away neatly. They even have a kind of rake device to get that perfect smooth finish. Although if they keep stacking around in a circle like that, they are eventually going to make a ring around themselves and… well, then they will look kind of stupid, and will have to switch the reclaim button on and suck up enough rock so they can get back out again. Anyway, this is a pretty cool machine, and let's be glad we don't have to do this kind of thing by hand anymore. Number 4. Road Header a road header is an excavating device, which is basically a huge and powerful vehicle with a boom arm which operates a rock cutting tool. They have spikes or a variety of different fittings depending on the type of rock that needs to be cut. The first patent for a road header was submitted by a Dr. Z. Alt-J of Hungary back in 1949. They were first used in coal mining, but by the 1970s, Australia had recognized their potential in civil engineering and used one to cut the tunnel for the underground railway in Melbourne. 
they have been used to build cave homes for people, which is pretty neat. However, getting a little too crazy with a road header can have some serious consequences. In 2014, a street in Ottawa opened up into a giant sinkhole due to the road header that was working below busily chewing through rock and dirt. A little too much, it seems. The most powerful road header in the world is built by Sandvik of Sweden and is known as the MT-720. It can be seen here doing amazing work underneath the city of Bilbao, Spain. Number 3. Rotary Snowplow Snow is not a lot of fun for trains. The train has to get that stuff out of the way as quickly as possible. Otherwise, things can get really slow. The best way to do this is using a kind of plow. In the old days, this would have been a simple wedge fitted to the front of the train to carve a line through the snow. But in 1869, a Canadian dentist invented the rotary snow plow. The main advantage of rotary snow plows is that, unlike the wedge, they do not require the train to move at high speed to work. This is great in mountain railways, where treacherous conditions and high speeds could cause a derailment with terrible consequences. So the rotary snowplow, which kind of blows the snow out of the way, is a lot safer. Except for snowmen. In fact, this is pretty much every snowman's worst nightmare. Don't even bear thinking about what would happen to a family of snowmen who happened to be walking in front of one of these. These days, they have fallen out of use, replaced by the more cost-effective bulldog but the rotary snowplow was inducted into the North American Railway Hall of Fame back in 2001, perhaps the highest honor ever bestowed upon a snowplow. Number 2. Rotary Drilling Rig the first rotary drills were developed in China, amazingly as far back as 100 BC. While everyone else was just looking at the ground in confusion, the ancient Chinese had built iron drill bits and bamboo derricks so they could extract natural gas from the earth. These first drills were precision drills. That means the drill bit was raised and dropped into the ground. At first, they could go around 30 feet deep, but by the 10th century, the Chinese were drilling 300 feet into the ground. And 500 years later after that, they had oil wells 2,000 feet deep. Nowadays, we can fit incredibly powerful drills onto the backs of trucks and specialized vehicles, and they use a rotary system of turning around to make holes in the ground. The most powerful of these is made by Leaper and is known as Mr. Toy. One of these monsters will have you an oil well in no time at all. And then you can become an oil baron and do all kinds of evil and fun things. My recommendation, buy one of these today. Number 1. Bucket Wheel Excavator The bucket wheel excavator is a huge piece of extreme industrial equipment which is used for surface mining. They are built to dig. And boy can they ever dig, getting through thousands of tons of digging every day. They have a big wheel with buckets on it, and it just does not stop. These rank among the largest vehicles of land or sea ever constructed by humans. In fact, one 14,200-ton monster, known as Beggar 293, is verified by the Guinness Book of World Records as the highest land-based vehicle ever made. It measures almost 750 feet in length and is 150 feet wide and 315 feet high. This giant, built in 1995, requires five people to operate and spends its days patiently digging coal from a huge mine in Hambach, Germany. This kind of excavator was first used in the 1920s, often in conjunction with other machines to move coal and dirt around. But since World War II, these machines have become truly enormous. There are even machines which can operate at temperatures as low as minus 50 degrees, with the aim of mining diamonds from the Siberian permafrost. What a machine! Which of these outstanding industrial monster machines were you most impressed by? Have you ever seen one of these live in action? How about a visit to Diggerland? Let us know in the comments below. Also, check out our other cool stuff showing up on screen right now. See you next time!